what do you think? You know, when, when you meet a girl, say she passes some of these flags here, how can you tell the difference between lust, the honeymoon phase, and real? What are some markers? Oh, yeah. Because that's, yeah, that's, that's a, a tough question. One. Yeah, if you want to see what a woman's really made of in a, in a relationship, watch how she handles uh, difficulties in your Like, let's say you get sick, right? Uh, you get COVID or, you know, some like really bad cold or flu. Does she take care of you? You know, she make you some soup. Does she expose her immune system to risk to be around you to look after you sort of thing? Right. Cause your boys won't do it. You know, uh, that's what a good woman will, will do. You know, it, like if you got a good woman in your life, there's something going on with your family. Maybe one of them becomes sick. She offers to take care of them, offers to do things, cook for them, stuff like that. Um, that's when you'll see what a woman's really made of. But that would be after the honeymoon phase. That would be six yeah. That would be after in. the yeah. That's after the where do we stand phase, and you've dated for a while. Like that's when she really show her true colors. But um, it's been said that women can act, uh, or you date the representative for as long as a year and a half, maybe up to two years. But women have a difficult time acting or being a representative of something that they're not beyond that. So you know, guys that rush into a marriage in like three months or something like that. Doomed. probably not the best idea yeah. um because you're only going to see what she's made of during difficult time like when you travel and her l luggage gets lost does she have a complete meltdown and lose her shit at the attendant you know at the counter sort of thing or does she say no problem we'll get it later let's go to the store and get some stuff yeah. right that I, i've heard that many times a representative i, I just lost i lost two bad like very expensive bags of stuff what th three four months ago and the girl I was with is flipping out. I'm just like, okay, it happens. What are you going to do? You know, yeah. what are you, you going to do? But I'm very calm with things like that. What you know, you know, one yeah. thing, Rich, too, uh, I can't say I have this problem, thank God. But, um, <laughs> you know, there's women out there now, and this will probably get taken the wrong way by someone, that don't know how to cook at all. Yeah. And it's either order out every day or... Uh, guys cooking or, or whatever it may be yeah. but like i think that's a great thing a woman who can cook i love a woman with culinary skills um i mean one of the reasons why i chose my girlfriend was because she's a great cook um some people don't like that they don't care they say oh i can cook for myself or you get these guys who are like well i prefer cooking i'd rather cook for her sort of thing it's like okay fine like I don't care how you want to structure your life, but I value a woman that that comes to my house with bags of groceries and prepares a delicious, nutritious, and healthy meal for me. Like to me, that's a woman. Like yeah. that's a chick that I want to spend more time with, sort of thing. Um, so, you know, I guess you got to get clear on your priorities. I got another friend of mine that likes cooking. Like he, like he absolutely loves meal prep, cooking, the presentation. Like that's his, like that's his jam, and he doesn't care if a woman can cook. Right. So everybody's got their preferences. But I think, you know, traditionally speaking, most guys value women that know how to cook. Well, going going through all the stuff that we're going through, we're talking about cooking, we're talking about all this different stuff. I guess my question to you is, is there the the perfect woman out there? Everybody's going to have their own version of the perfect woman. I mean, you ask 20 guys, you'll get 20 different answers. There's 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 soy boy beta males out there that, you know, love Joe Biden and wear like I love Joe Biden T-shirts uh, that would tell you that I like uh, morbidly obese women with short purple hair and tattoos all over their body. Right. Like yeah. like that's their ideal woman that play video games and have an only fan. Right. Yeah. Like you're going to get different answers from from different guys. Typically speaking, guys like me, the guys that roll in my circles, the guys that are entrepreneurs, the guys that are making bank, that are cool to hang out with that do fun stuff we've got very similar tastes and I don't think that that's a coincidence. I think that that's what men that are doing something with their life generally gravitate towards feminine women, right? Strong, masculine, virtuous men gravitate towards feminine beauties that uh, complement their lives and are uh, just, you know, fun and pleasant to be around. I guess what I'm saying is for like, for a woman, for, for guys that roll in your, in your uh, group, if let's say there's 10 there's a checklist of 10 i know you have 20 there but say 10 yeah are you mm -hmm. gonna look for every single one meaning will they meet every single part of that checklist or may, you might deal with nine mm -hmm. and okay that yeah. that one's okay not to have on there yeah so i think you can have it all but you can't have it all at the same time with the same gal right you might get it all within two or three girls sort of thing like you know, Becky ticks off nine out of 10 and then Rachel ticks off like the other one for you sort of thing. Like that's potentially possible.
but I mean, men and women have different checklists, don't they? Like when you ask a woman what their checklist is, it's pretty long. You know, it's pretty Jeez. extensive, we'll be, we'll especially when they sit down with their committee. He's got to be this. He's got to be that. He's got to be this. He's got to be that. He's got to. It's like, holy shit! Like, where are you going to find this guy? Guys, like most guys' checklists are, is sexually available. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's not very complicated for most guys. Now, that was my checklist when I was, was younger too. Now it's okay. That's not a big deal anymore. I figured that part out. It's easy to you know satiate that, but. You know, is she a compliment to my life? It, you know, can she cook? Does she have culinary skills? Is she pleasant? Does she have a low to no notch count, right? Uh, you know, she doesn't have like a zoo in her house. You ever date these gals that have like 15 animals in their house? Oh, yeah. And you walk through the front door and, and all you smell is urine, right? Yeah. Like there's a lot of deal breakers for a lot of guys. So again, like for most guys, it just boils down to is she pretty and is she sexually available? We don't really care about their jobs. I don't care if a chick makes $40,000 a year or $400,000 a year. In fact, the girl that makes $400,000 a year, she doesn't share her pot of gold with me anyway. It's not like she's going to be buying me shit because women don't do that. So like what difference does it make? She's probably going to be more bossy and more disagreeable than the $40,000 a year girl, right? So, you know, a lot of these things are moving targets. Like this is a big puzzle with a hundred, maybe some, maybe it's a hundred pieces for some guys. For other guys, it might be a thousand pieces. It's just a big puzzle with a bunch of different pieces and you got to decide what's right for you. I don't know if you've been on it, but if you haven't been on it or you haven't had him on, you should have uh, Patrick McDavid on, uh, Value Tenant. Yeah. Uh, we had him on, it, and he th th this will always stick out with me forever. He said, when I was dating girls, you know, I was in Vegas, going out, blah, blah, blah. And he would say, look, I like you, but you're never going to be the mother to my kids. And if you don't like that, yeah. basically kick rocks. Yeah. If he finds the woman that he likes that he wants to marry. Before they marry, they want to go to a – uh, psychiatrist or therapist. Mm -hmm. So it's so he walks into the therapist, you know, and they pay, you know, okay, blah, blah, blah. He says to the therapist, How long have you been married? Therapist says, uh, 30 years. Pat says, What is what is the most important thing that kept you guys, you know, married for 30 years? Or what is the most important thing or the your favorite time of being married? And the therapist mm -hmm. goes, Well, we have dinner every night at six o'clock. Pat goes, here's your 200 and walks out the door, right? The wife is saying, what did I do wrong? And Pat is like, no, nothing. I'm never going to be home at 6 p.m. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm trying to take over the world. I'm never going to be home at 6 p.m. And I thought that was admirable. And it goes along with a lot that you say as well, that you just be up front. You know, like, mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to be at home at 6. You know, I'm trying to do a lot of things. And if yeah, that's, that's the kind of guy you're looking for, yeah, 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 and it and it and it takes a special kind of woman to uh, like bend the knee and yield to a strong man's frame like that. Like you know, PBD is a you know he's a very strong character, and not all women, especially the party girls from Vegas, you know, maybe the ones that he was dating before, would be a good fit for him in a long term relationship, right? So the again, you know, like what you're doing as a guy in your your 20s when you're in your party you know time uh, or even early 30s you know hanging out going to vegas doing a bees a foam canada set and the other thing 12 hours a night you start meeting all these women and if you start thinking about children you know sort of thing or like you know am i going to put some babies in her then you want to find the right kind of gal for that right and i think one of the mo most important predictors is one does she enter your frame and, and complement your life and two is she pure you know like i don't want to put babies in a woman that's been with 50 guys. That's disgusting, yeah. right? Like 50 other guys have been there. Like, you know, when you think about that, there, you know, guys get repulsed by that, but women generally don't. They're like, oh, he's got some experience, good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, 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 or other women have chosen him, good, right? Because women like pre-selection too, right? Like they wanna be with guys that other women like. Or or now or nowadays, the guy is like, well, that was her past and I have her now. But to yeah, me, and, I, to me, I agree with you. I'm like, I don't care if that's her past or not. Fifty guys have been up in that. I, okay, if you want to play around, fine. But yeah. you know, to, you know, to have my kid then pop out of you too. I mean, I don't no, know. She's, no, she's been, you know, she's been with fifty guys. She's been with, you know, fifty different. Uh, she's got fifty different pieces of luggage with her, you know, from that, <laughs> yeah. from that past. Going you know? back to that, you don't want to deal with that. Hell no.
I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.